Yo guys, Tanmay here for Simple Snippets, back with another video tutorial on C++ programming. So this is a theoretical video in which I'm going to cover the topic of execution process of a C++ program. Now I know I should have covered this topic way back when we actually started off with this playlist and we've already come a long way down that line. In fact, if you've been watching this playlist, we are almost at the end of object-oriented programming concepts. So I got a request from a couple of guys who are like, what exactly happens behind the scenes when the actual execution of a program happens and I was like, okay, I'll just make a theoretical video wherein I'll show you the steps in which the program goes through when we actually go ahead and type out a program and when we click on compile and execute. So as I mentioned this is only going to be a theoretical video and please don't mind my voice I am having bad cough and cold but I thought I should cover this topic. So with that being said let's get started. So execution of a C++ program involves four stages and it has different compiling and execution tools. Now these tools are set of programs which help to complete the C++ programs execution process. So whichever software ID you have for typing out C++ program has these set of tools and these tools are essentially nothing but inbuilt programs itself. So the four steps are known as preprocessor stage, compiler stage, linker stage and loader stage. Now all of these are different programs and different modules which handle the entire execution process. So these tools ultimately make the program running. So let's start off with the first stage. So the step one is the preprocessor stage. So this is the first stage of any C++ program execution process. Now in this what happens is the preprocessor processes the program before compilation. So this happens happens even before you actually hit the compile and run actually. So when you say compile and execute in the C++ ID, the first stage that is happening is this preprocessor. So the say for example your program code is prog1.cpp. So preprocessor actually includes the header files, expands the macros and other constants declared with the hash sign. So remember we say hash include iostream.h and those header files. So the preprocessor handles all those tasks, linking of all those tasks essentially and then it creates a preprocessed file. So this is the task of the preprocessor. Let's move on to the step number two. Now this is the second stage of any C++ program execution process and in this the output generated by the preprocessor that is the preprocessed file is passed to the compiler for compilation. Now the compiler's major task is to actually check the program for errors say for example syntax errors or any static errors that you've done and by static I'm not I'm saying about the compile time errors so there are runtime errors different which happen when we actually execute the program and the program is running for example divide by zero error that is if you're performing any division so if you pass the denominator as zero that gives you a runtime error so that is not checked over here that is a logical error but other than that checking of syntax and any link link errors the compiler checks and then it generates an object file which is something like prog1.obj now if you have seen this object file if you open open it in notepad or any other text editor you will see weird notations and the, it won't be readable basically it is sort of like a machine language which only the computer understands so by step two most of the process is done and there is only one step left so let's move on to the step three so this is the third stage of any c++ program execution process and in this stage the linker links more than one object files or libraries that are generated in an executable file. So say for example your program is calling another object file or you're using some third party library or you're using multiple object files. So in that case the linker links those files. So this stage happens after compilation when you are actually going to run the program. The linker links those files so that those files are available. The code inside those files is available at runtime. And after that you get an executable code that is prog1.exe. So .exe are usually executable files that you actually run now the step 4 is essentially not a step which is uh, a part wherein the code gets modified it is just a separate program or separate module that loads the entire program in the memory so it doesn't change the code it just loads the code in the memory and this is the fourth and the final stage whose main purpose is to actually load the executable file in the main memory and the main memory is essentially the RAM of your PC or laptop or any processor any machine that you're running the code on so that's how the program runs so this was the theoretical aspect of the entire execution process of a C++ program. That's how the process flows. You can see the four different parts that is preprocessor over here, compiler over here, linker over here and the loader over here. And in between stages what is happening on is depicted in these rectangles. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video tutorial. Peace.